All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Welcome. So we are about to be heading out on a road trip. Down to Florida and we're bringing you all with us. So I wanted to start off this video with explaining the situation without boring you guys too much. Over 10 years ago, I went to a stunt school in Groveland, Florida, because that was my passion at the time. I still love stunts, don't really do them anymore, but it was a six week course that really did change my life forever. And it involved all kinds of you know movie stunts and also just life lessons from the people who run, ran or run the school still. <laughs> This past year, uh, I was contacted by a film production company that's making a documentary about the guy who owns and operates the school. His name's Mr. Uh, Kim Kahana, and he's a total legend in the stunt industry. But they wanted to be a, me to be a part of the documentary, so I went to Newark. Um, you guys might have seen the video, and I did a whole interview with them about my experiences there and how it affected me and changed my life. Uh, so fast forward, February 2022, right now, they are gonna be filming at his ranch down in Florida, and they offered me to be a part of the documentary even further than I have been, um, and to play the role of a cowboy stuntman in one of the scenes. So as you guys saw, went and bought myself an epic pair of boots. And yeah, so we're ready to go down there. Uh, we have everything set to go. We're leaving tomorrow morning. Uh, I wanted to get into this video by showing our preparation for the trip. So you guys may have seen this, uh, you know, a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, we were driving to go to an estate sale on the parkway and we had a problem with our car and I'll just show the footage. All right, we were just driving down the road once again, another hiccup with another vehicle, but this car started to overheat. So we pulled over and we were heading up to the estate sale and we pulled over and literally the coolant line right here was just totally detached from there and it was just spilling all over the place i put a whole one of these in already and i might have to put another one because it's just not full yet yeah so basically a coolant line had popped off and I just popped it right back on and filled up the car, but we decided to take it to a local mechanic over here in Summers Point called Auto Tech. And he ended up, you know, we explained to him what happened. We got that part fixed and we got the gas tank fixed. And I told him that I wanted to do anything and everything to the car, our Cadillac, to make sure it is prime and ready to take a road trip from here to Florida and Florida back to here. So he did a whole bunch of other stuff to the car and now the car is just basically in tip top shape. It drives perfectly and we are ready for the road trip. But I wanted to show you guys all that footage of them over and what they did. Um, Cause I saved it until now for you guys. So check that out. Okay, so we have been getting our Cadillac Escalade fixed at a local shop right down the street from where we live. We were a little bit nervous about it, thinking that it might be like really, really bad. Uh, we've had some problems with this car. We love the car, but definitely not an easy street since the day we bought it. And this guy has it up on a lift here. So he wants to show me. Well, he wanted to show us, but Sammy's getting ready because we got to go up uh, towards Philadelphia today. And we got to leave soon. So he wanted to show us underneath the car and show us a couple things that he said are actually good indications. Um, and just explain some stuff. So I'm gonna see if he lets me film under the car. If not, he doesn't, but 
we're going in. Pretty good shape, man. It looks beautiful. The car. The car. <laughs> yeah, it's good looking. <laughs> right? I just want to show you underneath, though. You know what I mean? There's just a couple of things I saw up front that you might want to get taken care of before you go to the But other than that, it looks good. I just want you to see, like, you know, like all the brake lines are good. There's that new canister. I can see that. That's, that, that's the all, nicest part of the car. Yeah, that's all new. The brake lines are good. We got good brakes. Like, this is nothing. That's just, like, surface rust, but... It's not even bad for this area, really. No, it's, that's why I, like, want to... I almost think it was like in Philadelphia, maybe. Yeah, I mean, these... Because it isn't... My other truck was so rusty from being down here. Really? Like right on the beach, I guess, because I lived on the island uh, at the uh, time. Yeah, yeah. Salt air. Oh, be so if I got a, uh, I have a spare I can put under here. Is this thing work? You think it looks? It doesn't look that bad, right? They just zip tied it. Maybe I can just put it in the car if I bring it. Uh, you try it, man. You got the mechanism to crank that down. Look at that. That's the oil coming down, but like you know. Brake lines and all that going back are pretty good. Options rusted out. Frame's good. You got a little, he's Juan said it's got a new transmission in it. That's it? what they said too, the other guy. Which I thought was cool because obviously, eventually, usually they will have to get one. Yeah. So that's a good sign. So that's good. And then the motors will last till 300,000 miles, man. So as long as you maintain them, do the oil changes and stuff, then. As long as I bring them here, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, all your U joints, all your drive shaft, are nice and tight. That's another thing I wanted to check. You know what I mean? Because you're driving all the way to Florida, so I just want you to see all this. So both sides? This one's just got a little bit of play. I, had, I got to lower it down. But this one, watch this one. I don't know if you can see it. I can see in there, yeah. Yeah, I don't Yeah, I can see that. Is that the that might be the bear. Oh no, it's a ball. I can see it. Yeah, it's up a ball. Oh, oh, oh. Look. What? Look. Oh shit. Dude, I'd be so scared to go under that thing. He okay. Is that the leak? He said that these things that hold the tire on and mm -hmm. and straight and they're like these little ball joints. Yeah. That they need to be replaced. Water ball. That's uh, nice. Fresh. Oh, that's Jeez. fresh. Good shit. That's the good okay. shit. Okay, I feel good. Alright. Thank you, Brandon. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> he said now you can go eat your hot bagels. Why well, cheeseburger <laughs> to the girls are like a uh, cheeseburger and... Alright, so I'm going to hang up so I can come back. Alright. Thank you, guys. I'll check all the fluids and everything. Thank right. you guys. No problem. So yeah, just call us and let let us know. All and right. if it takes longer, that's cool. All right. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. All right. So basically, I didn't. I wasn't gonna say it before because there's nothing set in stone. But we're planning on taking a trip to Florida uh, for a couple of different reasons. But one being that. I might may possibly be casted into this documentary that as like a actor slash well both of us might be but the part that the guy wanted Sammy to do she might not be able to do pregnant but either way we have a few things we want to do and we might as well do them now because Sammy's pregnant now but after the baby comes it's gonna be a whole different world so we're planning a trip to Florida in the next like month we need to make sure everything's good on the truck because otherwise it's not worth even going if we feel like the truck's gonna break down on us again so yeah just getting everything done and we're over here at auto tech that's the new spot that we've been 
take we're gonna take this truck there too to get all checked out after uh, so yeah the dream okay so as you guys might know uh, we had a traumatic experience where our car broke down uh, shortly after buying it on the side of the Pennsylvania Turnpike in the mountains and it was really scary uh, especially for Sammy and now that Sammy is pregnant uh, the safety of her and the baby to be is the utmost importance obviously in our lives in my life and of course in her life her and safety is important but we are planning to make a trip down to Florida like we normally do every year every year since we've been together we've gone down there it's basically where we true like where we first fell in love was in Florida um, I mean before that we had a relationship going but that was like the real real um, the true like yeah I'm gonna be with this woman for the rest of my life so we took the Cadillac to get checked out at the shop there was a lot of stuff wrong with it um, it ended up being pretty expensive but now according to the guy that, that runs the place everything is good to go tip-top shape so we're gonna go get the car we're gonna pay for it and hopefully that will be the last of it for now uh, we could have I mean we couldn't really do anything but fix this stuff because safety first there's no way we could even go on the trip or even really drive anywhere of a more than a few miles uh, with the car the way that it was so yeah let's go get it see what he says all right let's see what the boys have to say about this car look he's opening it here no uh no skateboarding on the bench is that your rule? No, I ain't my rule. <laughs> <laughs> Who would even bother? I don't want no kids cracking their heads. Yeah. But yeah, I'll show you, right? Here's all the parts. These were those other parts that we found. Like this fucking, uh, this, this pitman arm. See how this? Yeah. That. Same thing with the, the island pretty loose. Yeah, I didn't want you guys leaving with, with those fucking loose, but they, they go right up from here. Oh. That's, see that? that one's I see there. that, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's where that one was, and it, dude, it was just like, I don't even know how I missed it. It was just bouncing around in yeah, there. Yeah, like this bar, Juan's like, he's like, yo, dude, look at that, and I'm like, holy <laughs> shit. You know this, is, I mean? this is the nice, this is the real lift. Yeah. That one's the other one. You know what I mean? So that goes here, and this idler went right here. I got you. You know what I mean? So that was pretty loose before, huh? Yeah. And, and then the, the ball joints. Yep, yeah, they're all new ball joints. Fresh Johnny. Here, both sides. And I don't know if you can see the water pump. We got a new belt, new water pump, so you can see the water pump from up top a lot better. You know what I mean? New ball joints, Pittman arm, idler, fucking thermostat. So we're golden water. now, huh? Yeah. You know what I mean? I just wanted to show you. I, you know, I, I, I was going to call you, but I was like, you know what? I didn't want you guys thinking I was, <laughs> you know, we, so I was like, like, I'll we just let, throw it the You were like, we left it overnight <laughs> here. You see? Yeah. You're supposed to do that. Supposed to be like tight, you know what I mean? The new ones are, huh? Oh, the new ones are just nice and tight, yeah. So that's epic. Yes. Do you, you, get, you get a two year, 24,000 mile warranty with any of that, any of the work we do. So if you guys got any problems, just fucking come back and be like, yo, you know what I mean? Oh, we'll, I will. we'll take care of it. And the, you changed <laughs> the headlight that was out? Yeah, on the passenger side. You remember the one that the boy was telling you about? Yeah. Phineas. This is looking fresh. Look, even the super glue you put on that I still know, stayed. I, I super glued that. Someone sent us that thing the whatever that's going to cost came off. So they sent us that one. I did the super glue. The one. She's leaving the shop and she's trying to get in the passenger seat. I could just I could drive you back, walk back, and get the other car. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hopefully we have a safe trip. So we're going from full on snowstorm 
And then when we get down there, it'll be sunny and like 70 degrees. So the dream. I want to give a shout out to Brandon, Bruce, and all the guys over at Auto Tech. Awesome shop. Um, they really hooked us up. They showed us exactly what they did to the car and exactly why they had to do it. The baby. All right, so on top of all the fixes that they did over at Auto Tech, this guy, Luke, so he wanted to detail the whole car. So not only did we get the car in tip top shape, we took it over to him and you guys will see, he made it beautiful for the ride. Check it out. We're gonna go and take the baby to get a bath at the car wash. And it just so happens that this guy bought a speaker off of us the other day and he watches our videos and he also owns a car detailing shop pretty close to here about 10 minutes away and he offered to wash down and clean the entire outside of the car free of charge just because he wants to be a good guy and he said he does it for pregnant people women all the time cleans up their cars makes them feel good about it and also we can throw up his business up on our channel so we're about to head over there now show you guys the place and then after that, I'm gonna try and sand down and fix the side of the car that we cut a little piece off of. That's the fold over on the steel. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fold over out of here, we don't want that. But I'll show you guys that in a little bit. But yeah, let's go to the car wash and see how he cleans off the white shadow princess. That's what we're calling her from now on. and detailing but nobody's home Yeah, the boy. What's wrong? I'm on the way. Uh, in a minute. We just pulled up to the Superior Auto Detail. Nice, nice. Good that, stuff, good stuff. The dream, dude. Living the dream today. You'll be living the dream tonight. The dream will be happening tonight. You'll be, you'll be loving it. All right. We'll see you here. How, how long? You haven't had your car. Probably haven't had your car this shiny in a while. Okay, ever. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I'll get your car shiny. <laughs> Look, tell a man no trouble, I don't want beef man, I just want vibes Big man like me, no need for the telephone hype I got too much getting online, one rule then let him on site No he didn't oh, damn. <laughs> Dude it's on It is on What are we doing here? Getting your car clean today The right way From the shop, Spirit Eco No feel How clean do you think it's going to be? Shining like a diamond. Shining. Like a diamond? It's looking dirty today, dude. Looking good, looking, looking good. This is like a tier like eight of dirtiness, right? Yeah, we got a, we got a little work on the rims. We got a little work on the rims. We got a little work on the uh, body of the car, and really make things happen for you. What do you mean the rims? Like that's fixable? Some of that? The chrome rims will actually have a shine when we're done. All some right. The, um, some of the pitting won't go away. We'll like the, the corrosion won't corrosion, go away, right? Corrosion, the pitting won't really go, do too far for you. But some of this um, this chrome finish will come back and have a shine for you. Who's the guy doing it, Donnie? Uh, yeah, we'll all do it. Well, our team, me and the guys. What, what do you? Yeah, what is? This. Explain this. it to me. Explain it to me, then. So, what we can do with the detail is like clean up the inside and the outside for you. That's like. Complete, like work on the, on the car so you can get ready for the baby to come. I don't mind doing a, in sections. We can do like the inside. I, I want to hook you up with the, with the thing for the inside. The thing because your baby's coming. So what we'll do is we'll do the outside today and like a good, good vacuum inside and clean up for your trip. 
Okay. And when you guys get back to me, trip, we'll get the car washed and cleaned up again, and then we can do the uh, an interior detail for you. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take your floor mats out, clean the floor mats. I'll take an air from the back. I got, we have a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I can, yeah. I can, I can so maybe it. it's better today to we'll do the outside, and then yeah. just, you, know, you know. But I want to at least hook you up with something. I want to get you know. I can move are, around a little stuff. You guys are going to be uh, be our, our, our friendly vlogs and uh, keep us lively and going going good. No, yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. I'm excited. It's are you feeling it? Yeah. It's insane. It's insane. What do we got? It's much better. Oh my god, they clean. They clean? You gotta see it. You gotta see it. You guys call the call. I call the clean. He calls it the call. Huh? The call. That's the call. The Teletubby. How old are you guys? <laughs> old enough to love the Teletubbies. That's cool though, because my kids grew up in the Teletubbies. <laughs> <laughs> you got one Sonos speaker there, and all over there from, for years and years ago, and then let me get the Wi-Fi going. The other one is my here. The one that you just got from us. Oh, Does it work? <laughs> so that was the magic uh, speaker. It works. Here in a minute. It's amazing. Oh, because it, it echoes in here. It sounds even better. Yeah, it's and just better. bounces off the wall. Okay, I see why. He got it now. Pick a song. Pick, pick, you got as soon as please anything. What's your favorite song, Sammy? Favorite song right now. I don't have one. Oops, favorite, I favorite, did, favorite oops, oops, I did it again. Oh yeah. All right. All right oops. All right. Oops. Britney Spears. That's oops. my favorite song, really. <laughs> That's it. Really. <laughs> no, it's my favorite song. <laughs> all right, got you. What do you mean? I wasn't talking about you. It's your life. <laughs> it, is, it is our favorite song. I had it on the way, on the way over here. <laughs> yeah, get it. How many hundreds of millions of plays do you think that has on YouTube, though? Oh, um, it's insane. Just Billion. watch the video, though. The she's video got, is good. She's got all kinds of things going for her. Free Britney. So, yeah. Like, this is insane. You're, you already know it, right? Uh, 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 uh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, we all know it. We all know it. No, he didn't just. Yeah. <laughs> well, if he has four kids, then yeah, he definitely knows the song. He knows about the dildo, he's there. Okay. Look at this. Volume up, group. Oh, good sick, good sick. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> this is gold. <laughs> Remember, we are superior. Oh, if, yeah. if it's not done by superior, it's just ordinary. It's ordinary. So what is it then? That's good. It's by spirit, it's just ordinary. This is the main spot, huh? We're here 20 years. 20 years of dreams. Starting on 20 years, yeah. <laughs> here, right. spray me with it. That was sanitized. Oh, it's a sanitizer. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. They're leaving. They're out. Out. They're outie. Why? So what do you think it'll look better after? It should really come a long way. It's looks like the wheels are probably been wild since they've been cleaned. And we'll get a good job on them guys get going. Here comes Sammy. Why does she have that? Why do you have that? This? Yeah. Because I thought he was dropping this off. I, this is brand new. <laughs> what are you talking about? I forgot. It. I told you to get it out of the car last night and you didn't. Together, I brought it together. All right. Bring everything inside and we'll, we'll be fed from there. All right. So we're over here. We're at Superior Auto Detail. I said that already with our boy Luke, the man. And he is going to totally hook us up today. Detail the whole car, get it looking fresh for the road trip, and this is awesome. So we're going to try and film some of the detail, and then we're going to show you guys the car after it's done. Sweet candy, baby. Let's do it.
What's that? Magic potion. Magic potion going on. We got a little. That's the secret superior secret sauce, juice. baby. Secret sauce. Really? Yeah. I Besides can't... whatever that guy's yeah. son did yeah. to the freaking <laughs> Wow. <laughs> what is that black? You can see it for it once. Yeah, yeah. It does look a lot better though. The paint chip, the paint's chipping off and then it's rusting behind that. They call him Buff Daddy, not Puff Daddy. Buff Daddy in the house. They call him Buff Daddy. Before? And after? After. It's spick and span, baby. Okay, so they're totally detailing uh, the Cadillac and just hooking it up. Full detail. It's going to be there for like three hours. Uh, so Luke dropped us off back at the house and we're just going to do some work here. I'm going to edit and well actually we're going to go get coffee, come back, do some work and then we're going to go pick up the car later and you guys will see the difference between what it was and what it will be. So super stoked superior auto detailing is the dream. So thank you guys over there. Donnie and his wife and Luke, all legends. Okay, we just arrived back at Superior to pick up the Caddy and this is gonna be our first time seeing it actually detailed, so. The Great Revealo. The Great Revealo. There he is, the boy. Feeling a little moshy, so. From the baby? Yeah, Finn. Hey. hey. The big dog. All right, let's see what it looks like. Shake it this way. Diamonds, we're going to the right. This way, right? Good. <laughs> oh, your, your white is white. No way. White diamonds, we're going to call it. White diamonds, right. baby. Oh, no, white, no white. way. No way. It's so shiny. No way. No. Look at this beast. I don't even want to touch it. <laughs> it does really look like a different car. Freaking white. Look at this. Oh my gosh, look at the freaking tires are so bright. Baby, but it looks like it. I don't even want to touch it. Oh my god, it's so smooth. It is, it's smoother than my butt. I don't know about that. I don't know about that, but that's a pretty smooth ass. <laughs> this is so nice. I don't want like, I don't even want to drive it down. <laughs> For real. Because then the roads are going to mess it up. We got you. Dude, legend. Thank you. Thank you so much.
Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. What? Oh my gosh. No way. This is so shiny. Is that even the same car? No. I, I can't, wow. I can't even touch this. Superior detailing does it right. Wow. Look at this thing. Amazing. No way. Detailing. Legends. Legends. All right. Thank you guys for the dream. So go and enjoy the vacay, getaway. Yes. When you come back, we're on it. Yes. Living for the dreams. Well, you guys. Thank you guys. You're welcome. And definitely Thank when you, you come back, Thank definitely you. give Absolutely. us a call. Absolutely. Enjoy. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> I love it. And that's a wrap. It is looking fresh, boys. Same as new car. It's brand new, basically. So yeah, the car's fixed, fixed up, ready for the ride. Totally detailed, and we are ready to go on this road trip. <laughs> we gotta get a pack. What, what do you mean? Doing? We're getting ready to go, right? We gotta pack and clean all the baby's booties. <laughs> no, I'm Paul's watching the babies. No, he doesn't, he's not going to clean them now. But yeah, so guys, welcome to our float of... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, have you been messing up words all the time? Because I yeah, think I heard you say... Like six or seven, superior the wrong way. You, and you said like rinse or something. It doesn't matter. I said everything I needed okay. to say. So welcome to <laughs> our Florida road trip 2022. We are about to hit the road. Let's go. Let's do it. And we welcome you all to join us. And Finn. Well, yeah, this is going to be the first official family road trip with Finn as a fetus. Finn the fetus. Let's see, Finn. Wait, so I have this app, and it tells me, um, like, each, like, like size of it, and it'll show, like, a veggie. And it said, like, two days ago that Finn was the size of a pea pod. I was like, well, how am I so big if, like, he's, like, this big? Like, I've been blaming all my weight on, like, Finn, but it's uh, not. Let's see. It's Taco just, Bell. Wawa. It's just because I'm Multiple trips to the eating. grocery store every day. <laughs> and not every day. It's like, you know. It's like we go to the grocery store and stock up, and then, like, three hours later, she's like, what happened to all my food? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like two days later, but it's like really we'll crazy. say three but i still like get a lot of food like order food too because you know hot bagels is my favorite so either way we really do have to get back we we do. Have, we're leaving in the morning well, so. i almost done packing i've been packed i'm talking about putting it from here in the car yeah but for girls like i gotta keep like my that's hair true i gotta do all but... that stuff but i had to pack like da 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 skateboard yes surfboard, yes, yes. Magnet fishing gear. Ooh. The Beetle. Let's go. Scooter. All let's right. do this. We'll see you guys on the road. All right, let's get ready for this road trip. The car mechanically is up to par, um, but we're gonna get the inside ready for the trip. I just wanted to show you guys. This is the beast that we're bringing. Everybody already knows her, but regardless of uh what we've been through with this car and you know anyone's opinion about the car or what people have to say is this is this is still our baby this is truly our baby we love this car and yeah knowing what we know now maybe we wouldn't have bought the car but we did 
and we've been through it so hopefully this is the redemption trip but here she is the caddy i was calling her you know white shadow i think my friend greg said that the, when we first got it the car and then sam was like but she's a princess so we were calling her white shadow princess i don't know pretty insane name but so this is actually pretty nice back here we have this little like fox rug that kind of looks like grass um this doesn't fit the handlebar so we're not going to use that this is the other half of Bruce's uh car Bruce stroller so we'll just put that in the garage don't need that that might have like well, I'll take this out. I think it's empty. Snowboard goes in the garage. So this is going to be this, the area where we pack in everything. Um, and then this is going to be basically either for Sammy to put her stuff or just another spot to uh, lay down if she needs to. All right. The first big thing to go in is going to be Sammy's scooter. I have my skateboard already because we're going to be in Miami as well. I wanted to say that too, but hold on. I have my skateboard, and then she has her pink scooter. It's just safer for her to ride. She feels a lot safer on this. So, with the baby, you can't really overdo the safety. You got to just do it right. All right, we got it in. But I was gonna say too, that Sammy and myself have a really special um, bond to Florida and certain areas in Florida. Basically, when we first met, uh, shortly after we first met and before we started dating, Sammy moved to Florida and we basically fell in love there. Deeply in love there, I should say. We were already talking for a long time before that, but I went down there and that was like our first real time together when we got to go to Universal for the first time together. And then our honeymoon was in Miami. That was really, really special for us. And yeah, it's a special place. So we are gonna be going to Miami to the same hotel as when we went for our honeymoon. Um, so we're kind of using like the whole documentary thing as like just a coast into doing other fun stuff together. Yeah, a way to make some cool content for everybody and have a good time together with uh, Finn as a fetus, because once this starts escalating quicker and quicker, it, we're not gonna be able to even go anywhere for a while. So this will be like our last big trip um, for a while together. Well, at all, I should say. But yeah, let's load this baby up. She has her suitcases, I think, ready already. All right, we got two suitcases of Sammy's going in. We got my bag of clothes, my duffel bag. We got another Drio air purifier. Shout out to Drio. They hooked us up with these and we're gonna bring it so we can use it in the hotel room so that everything's cleaner for Sammy and the baby. So, Drio claims unopened. All right, so far pretty good stacking going on. The scooter stands up straight actually and it put the kickstand down and everything. It's pretty secure. All right, we got about 50% of the car packed. But I'm going to show you guys the rest of the production stuff that we packed just to give an idea of how much we actually like prepare for trips. Canon, drone, extra lights. There's, this is filled with SD cards. Extra lens, which isn't as wide. This is a fisheye. Charger. Headlamp. Pole. Tripod for the phone. Extra GoPro, which we might not even use. This is for the one GoPro. The Hero, so we can make that video. The new GoPro, it's charging. And then we're going to bring computer, charger, um, headphones, and hard drive. And then the camera that I'm shooting with right now. And we have another container of other production stuff, like just extra stuff I always bring, just in case. But we're going to eat dinner, so signing off for tonight. And we'll see you guys in the morning for an update. And then we'll be on the road. So... You, the dream.